Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the coefficients of the Van Diemter equation from data using nonlinear least squares regression analysis. The tool we're going to use is called GeoGebra. You can find it at geogebra.org. Here you'll find apps to download that you can run offline, or you can simply use the online versions of their incredibly powerful apps. Today, all we'll need is the graphing calculator. First, you'll want to enter your data, so just type open parentheses. And now we'll type our flow rate in 0.2 mils per minute, and our plate height, 5, enter. And then I'll just enter the next data point, 0.53, enter. 1.5, 2.6, enter, and 3, and 3.8, enter. What we see here is that GeoGebra has plotted these four data points and given them letters. So now all we have to do to fit any equation to our data is to type fit and enter the list of data points that you want to use. So type open curly brackets and A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D. It's important that you use the same capital letters that GeoGebra assigned because lowercase letters are used for variables in equations. Next, I type right arrow, comma, and now I enter the equation. In this case, it's A plus B slash X, right arrow to get out of the fraction, plus C times X. And now, type Enter. And instantly, GeoGebra has fit this equation to my data to give me the parameters 0 0.87 for the multiple paths coefficient, 0 0.80 for longitudinal diffusion, and 0 0.87 for mass transfer. Now, if this is your first time using GeoGebra, you probably got a really ugly result with 13-digit precision. To change that default, go to the upper right corner and click the gear, click the gear a second time, and click the gear a third time, and just change the number of decimal places. The default would have looked like this. I like to keep it at four decimal places. The next thing to note is that GeoGebra automatically puts a little gray dot at important inflection points. If you don't see that gray dot, just left click the line and the gray dot will come back. Since the Van Diemter equation is really the sum of a hyperbola and a line, the gray dot represents a minimum. And if you just click that gray dot, you get the value of that minimum. Since the whole point of plotting the Van Diemter equation is to find out this optimal minimum, we see instantly that our best flow rate would be 0.95 milliliters per minute to get the best chromatographic performance. The next thing I should point out is if you're doing gas chromatography analysis, you want to get rid of the A parameter because it doesn't apply. So if this were GC data, our longitudinal coefficient would be this, and our mass transfer coefficient would be this, and our optimal flow rate would be 0.91 mils per minute. Another great feature of GeoGebra is that all these points can be moved around and the equation calculation instantly adapts so you could find out how sensitive your analysis is to any one data point. There's a lot more that the software can do, but this should be able to get you by for now. If you have any other questions, please post them to the discussion board, come to my office hours, or I'll see you next time.